Hey everybody, uh, this is Carlos Solis, Rich Point Medical Pharmacy, pharmacist, owner, uh, also uh, creator of the uh, new business series called Teaching Moments. And for the first 12 Teaching Moments, I pretty much covered issues surrounding the individual and how we can best try to prepare ourselves for our day here at work or at home, how to come in with a good mental focus, how to come in with a better attitude, how to develop the skills that comes from the proper mindset. And so what I want to lead with today, uh, the main focus of the teaching moment for today is teamwork. And I'll start covering the different issues of teamwork that I, that I want to emphasize. Uh, teamwork. One of the most important parts of teamwork is obviously developing trust. And uh, trust has to be developed with having reliance on your fellow employee that's working with you, your boss, um, and of course the reliance in those individuals leads to having confidence in what you're doing as a part of the team. What is the next thing that's important about being a team member besides trust? The next issue that we need to discuss is conflict. What is conflict? Conflict is a disagreement and conflicts are going to occur in every team. The issue here is what kind of conflict are you having? Is it conflict strictly for the sake of having conflict? Someone disagreeing with you just for the sake of disagreeing with you? Or is the disagreement coming from a sincere desire to present their view in the hopes of having a better solution? So conflict can be a positive thing or it can be a negative thing depending on the type of conflict that's, that's being created. The next thing I want to cover and a very important part of the team is commitment. I think sometimes team players who get on a team forget that they made a commitment by joining the team. Whether it's being hired or whether it's going to play a sport, <clears throat> people have to understand they've made a commitment to being a part of that team. And what does that mean, commitment? It means they made a promise. Their promise was for a certain rate of pay, they were going to perform a particular job or job functions. That leads to they have an obligation. They're going to be compensated for what they're doing and obviously the obligation extends to management and to ownership in that once the employee performs their job function, they get compensated for those efforts. The final piece. <coughs> The final piece of every team is probably the most critical is accountability. And that is the checks and balances that management has to put into place to make sure that all of these other factors are being adhered to by the team. Has the team created enough trust in each other? Has the management team helped to resolve any conflict or disagreements that may have occurred? And has the team remained committed to being the best it can be? And this comes from then having management as well as each team player holding the other team players accountable for their actions or lack of actions. <clears throat> Let's talk about needs for a second. There are team needs and then there are the needs that you have as an individual employee. And what makes real teamwork really difficult is that sometimes the you becomes the only thing that the team player thinks about while they're at work or at play. And we need to kind of obviously understand that there are some you needs, which is what the first 12 uh, teaching moments were focused on. So we have to shift the ideology of self-growth and self-improvement to applying all those things that we learned in the first 12 teaching moments to applying those to becoming a great team player. And keep in mind that becoming a great team is all about it's all about you. 
because you each individually make up what we call team. And if you are only focused on your needs and not focused on the overall needs of the organization, or in this case here, the team, then you are bringing down the team potentially. And why is that happening? It's like playing the sport of football. If you are to protect the quarterback and you don't do your job because you're worried about yourself and the quarterback gets tackled, then your need created a scenario where the quarterback got tackled and it prevented possibly the team from eventually scoring a touchdown. So needs, team needs, versus your needs. We all understand that your needs have to be met. But if you're not doing anything during the course of your work to meet your needs, then you're going to have a difficult time meeting the team's needs. Because you're going to be, as we call uh, it often as, you're in survival mode. All you're worried about is getting through the day, getting the job done as you think you can get it done and the best of your abilities under the circumstances you're in and the team needs go unrecognized. So again, the first 12 teaching moments were to talk about your needs and how you can help resolve those. We talked about problem solving. We talked about the struggle. We talked about the journey. We talked about the dark days that we're all going to experience in any successful venture and becoming a great team is going to have its struggles it's going to have its own individual journey and most critically you will experience as being a part of this team some of those dark days it's when you have the great days that the dark days are overshadowed by the good but you've got to wait for those good days to materialize the compound effect, as we've talked about before, will happen if you are consistent with your ability to execute your particular needs and get them resolved so that you can start focusing on, on the needs of the, of the team. Becoming a great team is all about you. Let's change lives together.